Isang magandang 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 oras po sa lahat ng mga viewers ng channel Jeff the Blind Explorer. Ayan, sa muli mag upload ako ng isang uh, audiobook sa ano? Audiobook na uh, tungkol sa zoology. Kung gusto po niyong marinig at uh, mapag-aralan ang uh, napakagandang explanation ng audiobook na ito, maaari lamang po na mangyaring tapusin at pakinggan po talaga ninyo ang aking ia-upload. Napaka-informative po nito. Although wala po siyang masyadong, wala po talaga siyang as in mga graphics, mga video presentation, pero kung kayo po ay isang good listener, uh, marami po kayong mapupulot na magagandang impormasyon tungkol sa zoology. So, ayan, uh, ito muli si Jeff the Blind Explorer. Thank you po sa support ninyo guys. At hanggang sa susunod po na pag-upload natin ay sana nariyan pa rin po kayo. Now, here it is! Introductory Zoology The science of zoology is the study of animal life. Zoologists strive to understand the origin of animal diversity, how animals perform basic life processes, how they are able to inhabit various ecosystems. Zoology Zoo, Animal Plus Logos, to study as the study of animals is one of the broadest fields in all of science. Variety of animals complexity of and the processes the uses of principles principles of modern zoology are derived from. Laws of physics and chemistry scientific method because life shares a common evolutionary origin, principles learned from the study of one group often pertain to other groups as well. The kingdom protista includes those organisms traditionally called protozoa, as well as some autotrophic groups. They carry out all of life's functions using only the organelles found in the, typical, eukaryotic cells of animals. Classification of protozoa by Levine, phylum, sarcomastigophora, apicomplexa, microspora, acetospora, labyrinthomorpha, mixozoa, ciliophora excretion and gas exchange, most life processes dependent on activities associated with surfaces, tabli with cell membranes. Nutrition. Various types of nutrition occur among protists. They may be either autotrophic or heterotrophic, and some may be both. Photosynthetic protists have chloroplasts and are capable of photosynthesis. Heterotrophic forms may be saprobic, taking in dissolved organics by diffusion, active transport, or pinocytosis. Of they may be holozoic, taking in solid foods such as organic detritus or whole prey by phagocytosis. Special organelles for nutrition are food vacuoles. Activity and sensitivity. Many protists display remarkable degrees of sensitivity to environmental stimuli and are capable of some fairly complex behaviors. But, unlike that animals, protists' entire stimulus response circuit lies within the confines of the single cell. Many protists have extrusomes, membrane-bound organelles containing various chemicals. Extrusomes have a variety of functions protection, food capture, secretion, but they have one feature in common. They readily, and sometimes explosively, discharge their chemical contents. The best known extrosome is the trichocyst of ciliates such as paramecium, but about 10 different types are known from a variety of protists. They have specialized light-sensitive organelles, eye spots or stigmata. Eye spots are located at or near the anterior end. Reproduction. Most protists have been able to capitalize the advantages of both asexual and sexual reproduction, although some apparently reproduce only asexually. Protists undergo a variety of strictly asexual reproductive processes including binary fission, multiple fission and budding. Binary fission involves a single meiotic division, resulting in two daughter cells. During multiple fission, the nucleus undergoes several multiple divisions prior to cytokinesis, partitioning of the cytoplasm, resulting in many daughter cells. Some engage in process called plasmodomy, considered by some to be a form of budding, in which a multinucleate adult simply divides into two multinucleate daughter. The advantage of sexual reproduction is thought to be the generation and maintenance of genetic variation within population and species. Haploid cells or nuclei of one kind or another are produced and then fused to restore the diploid condition. This production and subsequent fusion of gametes in protists is called syngony. Protist cells responsible for the production of gametes are usually called gametes. 
Singami may involve gametes that are all similar in size and shape, isogamy, or more familiar condition of gametes of two distinct types, anisogamy. Other sexual procedures are conjugation and autogamy. The phylum Porifera contains those animals commonly called sponges. Sponges are sessile, suspension feeding, multicellular animals that utilize flagellated cells called coanocytes to circulate water through a unique system of water canals. Sponges is the only phylum at the perizoan grade of body construction. Not only are true tissues absent, but most of the body cells are totipotent they are capable of changing form and function. Their nutrition, cellular organization, gas exchange, and response to environmental stimuli are all very protist-like. Classification, four classes were recognized, Calcarea, Hexactinellida, Demospongia and Sclerospongia. Body structure in the aquiferous system, the outer surface cells of a sponge make up the penicoderm and are called penicocytes. Most of the inner surfaces comprise the coanocytes. Both of these layers are a single cell thick. Between these two thin cellular sheets is the mesol, which may be very thin in some simple sponges, or massive and thick in larger species. The penicoderm is perforated by small holes called dermal pores or ostea, depending on whether the opening is surrounded by several cells or one cell. During growth, the penicoderm and choanoderm are each only one cell thick. By increasing their folding as mesol volume increases, these layers maintain a surface area to volume ration. The one-cell thick choanoderm may remain simple and continuous, the asconoid condition, or it may become folded, psychonoid condition, or may become greatly subdivided into separate flagellated chambers, leukonoid condition. Nutrition, excretion and gas exchange, they are nevertheless a highly successful group of animals. Their success appears to be due largely to their cell totipotency, equiferous system, and the general plasticity of their body form. Unlike most metazoa, Nearly all sponges rely on intracellular digestion, and thus on phagocytosis and pinocytosis as means of food capture. Excretion primarily ammonia, and gas exchange are by simple diffusion, much of which occur across the choanoderm. Activity and sensitivity, there is no conclusive evidence that sponges possess neurons or discrete sense organs. Action potentials have never been recorded in sponges and nothing resembling the sympathetic connections of higher metazoa are known in these animals. However, they are capable of responding to a variety of environmental stimuli by closure of osteo or oscula, canal constriction, backflow. Reproduction and development. All sponges appear to be capable of sexual reproduction, and several types of asexual processes are also common. Axisual reproduction. Probably all sponges are capable of regenerating viable adults from fragments. Some branching species, pinch off, branch ends by a process of cellular reorganization. Sexual processes. Most sponges are hermaphroditic, but they produce eggs and spur at different times. The phylum C. nadaria is highly diverse assemblage that includes jellyfish, sea anemones, corals, and the common laboratory hydra, as well as many less familiar forms such as hydroids, sea fans, siphonophores, zoanthids, and mixosomes. Much of the striking diversity seen in this phylum results from two fundamental aspects of their lifestyle. First is tendency to form colonies by asexual reproduction. Second, many species of Nidarians exhibit a dimorphic life cycle that includes two entirely different adult morphologies, a polypoid from an amedusoid form. They possess primary radial symmetry, tentacles, stinging or adhesive structures called nidi, and endodermally derived incomplete gastrovascular cavity as their only body cavity, and a middle layer, mesenchyme or mesoglia, derived primarily from ectoderm. Classification into three classes, hydrozoa, cyphozoa and anthozoa musculature formed largely of myopithelial cells, epitheliomusular cells, derived from ectoderm and endoderm, adult epidermis and gastrodermis. Exhibit alternation of asexual polypoid and sexual medusoid generations, but there are many variations on the basic theme. The endodermally derived gastrovascular cavity, solenteron, is sac-like, partitioned, or branched, but has only a single opening, which serves as both mouth and anus. Without a head, centralized nervous system, or discrete gas exchange, excretory, or circulatory structures. Nervous system is a simple nerve net, composed of naked and largely nonpolar neurons. Typically have planula larva, ciliated, modal, gastrula larva. T. 
Ketinophores commonly called cone jellies, sea gooseberries, or sea walnuts are transparent, gelatinous animals. Most of them are planktonic, living from surface waters to depths of at least 3,000 meters, a few species are epibenthic. The tinophores are radially paradially symmetrical, diploblastic, or perhaps triploblastic animals, resembling cnidarians in several respects. Tinophores are significantly different from cnidarians in their more extensively organized digestive system, their wholly mesenchymal musculature, and certain other features. Gastrovascular cavity gut is the only body cavity gut with stomodium and canals that branch complexly throughout body gut ends in two small anal pores without discrete respiratory excretory or circulatory systems nervous system in the form of a nerve net or plexus but more specialized than that of cnidarians musculature always formed of true mesenchymal cells monomorphic without alternation of generations and without any kind of an attached sessile life stage with eight rows of ciliary plates, combs or cetens, at some stage in their life history, comb rows controlled by unique apical sense organ. Some adults and most juveniles with a pair of long tentacles, often retractable into sheets. Most are hermaphroditic, typically with a chericeristic cytopid larval stage. The phylum platyhelminths includes about 20,000 extant species of free-living and parasitic worms. These animals are at a grade of complexity that may be called the triploblastic acoelomate valateralia. The majority of flatworms are parasitic members of the classes Trematoda and Monogenea, the flukes, and Cystoda, the tapeworms. The class Turbularia includes primarily free-living forms in marine and freshwater benthic habitats. A few are terrestrial and some are symbiotic and are on other invertebrates. Marine turbellarians are often the most colorful and graceful creatures found in tide pools. Most flatworms are strikingly flattened dorsoventrally, although the body shape varies from broadly oval to elongate and ribbon like a few bear short tentacle at the anterior end or have other elaborations of the body surface. The free living forms range from less than 1 mm to about 30 cm long, although most are 1 to 3 cm. Classification in three classes, turbellaria, trematodes and cestodes. Trematodes digenetic and aspidogastrine flukes. Body covered by a tegument, with one or more suckers, laking prohapter and opisthapter. Most have two or three hosts during the life cycle and most of them are endoparasitic. Well-known species are, Fasciola hepatica, Fasciola gigantica, Schistosoma hematobium, Aspidogaster concihola class cestodes, tapeworms, exclusively endoparasitic, body covered by a tegument. In most the body consists of an anterior scolex, followed by a short neck and then strobola composed of a series of segments, or proglottis. Digestive tract is absent. Well-known species. Diphylobothrium latum, Hymenolepis nana, Tinea solium. Cephalized, with a central nervous system comprising an anterior cerebral ganglion and usually longitudinal nerve cords connected by transverse commissures, ladder-like nervous system with protonephridia as excretory osmoregulatory structures, hermaphroditic, with complex reproductive system. Members of the phylum Nemertia or Rinchocela are commonly called ribbon worms. These unsegmented vermiform animals are usually flattened dorsoventrally and are moderately cephalized. They possess highly extensible bodies. Many ribbon worm species are rather drab in appearance, but many others are brightly colored and distinctively marked. About 900 species of nemertines have been described. They range in length from less than 1 cm to several meters. Nemertines possess an anus, a complete, one-way digestive tract, a closed circulatory system and an reversible proboscis apparatus unique to nemertines and represents a novel synapomorphy that distinguishes the nemerty from all other invertebrate taxa. Triploblastic, coelomate, bilaterally symmetrical unsegmented worms, excretion with protonephridia, with bilobed cerebral ganglion that surrounds proboscis apparatus, not the gut, and two or more longitudinal nerve cords connected by transverse commissures. Two or three layers of body wall muscles arranged in various ways. Some species have hemoglobin, most are dioecious, clavage holoblastic, eerie development typically spiralian, either direct or indirect. Asexual reproduction by fragmentation is common. Most authorities on the group now prefer the phylum name Nemata, although Nematoda is still commonly used. 
With nearly 25,000 described species, they are one of the most abundant groups of metazoa. One study revealed some 90,000 nematodes in a single rotting apple. Whereas most of the free-living species are microscopic, many of the parasitic forms are much larger, and members of one species attain lengths of 8 meters. Nematodes are known from virtually every habitat in the seas, fresh water, and on the land. Nematodes parasitize nearly all groups of animals and plants. Some cause serious damage to core and livestock, and some are pathogenic in humans. Classification in two classes, Adenophorae aphasmida and Secernentea phasmida. Triploblastic, gliadural vermiform, unsegmented, blastocoelomate. Body round in cross section and covered by a layered cuticle, growth in juveniles usually accompanied by cuticular shedding. With unique cephalic sense organs called amphids, some have caudal sense organs called phasmids gut complete, various mouth structures arranged in radially symmetrical pattern. Most with unique excretory system, comprised of one or two rennet cells or a set of collecting tubules. Without special circulatory or gas exchange structures. Body wall has only longitudinal muscles, no circular muscles, epidermis cellular or synchytial, forming longitudinal cords housing nerve cords. Dioecious, males commonly with, hooked, posterior end. Class aphasmida with cephalic chemoreceptors called amphids, but lacking caudal phasmids. Excretory system comparatively simple, not cuticularized, and without collecting tubules. Most are free living although parasitic species are known. Species. Trichiurus trichiura, Trichinella spiralis. Class phasmida with cephalic amphids and caudal phasmids. Excretory system comparatively complex in some, with cuticularized duct and well-developed collecting tubules, most are parasitic. Those that are free living are predominantly terrestrial. Species. Anchilostoma duodenale, Ascaris sues, Ascaris lumbricoides. The phylum rotifera includes more than 1,800 described species. These tiny metazoa can reach lengths of 2 to 3 m, but most are less than a millimeter long. In fact, some ciliated protists have been incorrectly described as rotifers. Despite their small size, rotifers are quite complex and display a variety of body forms. Most are solitary, but some sessile fromms are colonial, a few of which secrete gelatinous casings into which individuals can retract. They are most common in fresh water, but many marine species are also known, and others live in damp soil or in the water film on mosses. Triploblastic, bilateral, unsegmented blastocoelomates. Gut is complete and regionally specialized pharynx modified as mastax, containing jaw-like elements called trophy. Anterior end bears variable ciliated fields as a corona. Posterior end often bears toes and adhesive glands. Epidermis syncatial, with fixed nubar of nuclei, secretes extracellular cuticle and intracellular skeletal lamina. Excretion with protonephridia, but no special circulatory or gas exchange structures. They have unique retrocerebral organ. Males generally reduced or absent, parthenogenesis is common. Classification, three classes, Cygenacea, Monogonanta and Digonanta. The phylum Gastrotrica comprises about 450 species of small marine, brackish, and freshwater metazoa. Most species are less than 1 mm long, although a few reach 3 mm in length. The gastrotrich body is typically divisible into a head and a trunk. A few possess an elongate, tail, triploblastic, bilateral, unsegmented, area between gut and body wall filled with loose organs and mesenchyme, effectively creating an echoelomate condition. With one or many pair of adhesive tubes cuticle well developed, often forming plates and spines, outer cuticle composed of several layers of unit membrane-like structures. Epidermis partly cellular, partly syncytial, external ciliation restricted to ventral surface, with monociliate epidermal cells, external cilia covered by outer layers of cuticle excretion with protonephridia, but without special circulatory or gas exchange structures. Hermaphroditic, or, if dioecious, only females are known. Cleavage seemingly radial, but not well studied. As adults, the 1,100 described species of acanthocephalans are obligare intestinal parasites in vertebrates, particularly in freshwater teleost fish. Larval development takes place in intermediate arthropod hosts. 
The name acanthocephala derives from the presence of curved hooks located on a reversible proboscis at the anterior end. Most acanthocephalans are less than 20 cm long, although a few species exceed 60 cm in length. Females are generally larger than males. Triploblastic, gliateral, unsegmented, vermiform, blastocoelomate. Tegument and muscles contain a unique system of channels called the lacunar system. Gut absent, protonephridia absent, except in a few species, with unique system of ligaments and ligament sacs partially partitioning the body cavity, with unique hydraulic structures called lemnosi that facilitate extension of proboscis, dioecious, with acanthor larva, all are obligate parasites in guts of vertebrates, many have complex life cycles. The phylum Entoprocter Camptozoa includes about 150 species of small, sessile, solitary or colonial creatures that superficially resemble cnidarian hydroids and entoprocts. All but a single genus of entoprocts are marine. Colonial forms live attached to various substrata, including algae, shells, and rock surfaces. Solitary species are commensal on a variety of hosts, especially sponges, entoprocts, polychaetes, siphunculans. Entoprocs are not uncommon intertidally, and some species are known from depths as great as 500 meters. Triploblastic, bilateral, unsegmented, functionally a coelomate. Sessile and solitary or colonial with zoids bone on stalks. Visceral mass housed within a cup-shaped calyx, the ventral surface of which is directed away from the substratum. Zoids bear a ring of tentacles that enclose both the mouth and the anus. Gut complete in new shape, with one pair protonephridia hermaphroditic or dioecious. The phylum Gonathostomulida includes 80 or so species of minute vermiform animals. Gonathostomulids are found worldwide, in marine sands, often occurring in high densities in anoxic, sulfide-rich conditions, from the intertidal zone to depths of hundreds of meters. The elongate body, less than 2 mm long, is usually divisible into head, trunk, and narrow tail regions. Distinguishing features of this phylum include a unique jawed pharyngeal apparatus and monociliated, but their relationship to other groups is highly controversial. The 55 species are divided between two orders, Phyllospermoidea and Versivaginoidea. Triploblastic, bilateral, unsegmented, vermiform acoelomates. Epidermis monolayered, all epithelial cells are monociliate. Gut incomplete, anus rudimentary or vestigial, without special excretory circulatory, or gas exchange structures. Hermaphroditic. The name Lorisifra refers to the well-developed cuticular lorica encasing most of the body. The description of the phylum was initially based upon a single widespread species, Nanoloricus mysticus, but several other species have since been described. Most lorisiferans have been found at depths of about 300 to 450 meters in coarse marine sediments. All lorisiferans have been placed in two families, Nonoloricidae and Plisoloricidae, in a single order, Nonolorisida. All are free-living, bilateral, unsegmented, and probably blastocoelomate. Body divided into a head, neck, and thorax, all retractable into an abdomen. Abdomen housed in cuticular lorica, cellular epidermis underlain by basal lamina. Mouth on oral cone beset with spines, stylets, head, introvert, and neck with seven to nine rows of scallops. Gut complete, no apparent, circulatory or gas exchange systems. On pair of protonephridia, situated in gonads. Dioecious, development includes unique Higgins larva. New phylum of tiny metazoans called the Cyclophora, 1995. The only described species, Symbian Pandora, was discovered living on the mouth parts of Norway lobsters found off the coast of Denmark, Sweden and other locations in the North Atlantic. Cyclophorans are apparently a coelomate, the area between the gut and body wall is packed with large mesenchymal cells. The body is divided into an anterior buccal funnel, an oval trunk, and a posterior adhesive disc by which the animal attaches to its host setae. Feeding adults are about 350 micrometers in length. They suspension feed by creating water currents with dense cilia that are situated on a ring of modified epidermal cells encircling the open end of the buccal funnel. 
circulation and gas exchange are presumably accomplished by simple diffusion in these tiny animals. A pair of flame bulb protonephridia is present in one of the larval stages, but has not been identified in adults. The life cycle of cycliophorans is still incompletely understood. Mollusks include some of the best known invertebrates, almost everyone is familiar with snails, slugs, squids and octopuses. There are about 93,000 described, living mollusk species and 70,000 known fossil mollusks. Classification, 7 classes, Aplacophora, Monoplacophora, Polyplacophora, Cephalopoda, Gastropoda, Scaphopoda and Bivalvia bilaterally symmetrical, or secondarily asymmetrical unsegment, coelomate protosomes. Coelum limited to small spaces around nephridia, heart, and part of intestine. Principal body cavity is a hemocoal open circulatory system, viscera is concentrated dorsally as a visceral mass. Body covered by thick epidermal cuticular sheet of skin, the mantile, which forms a cavity, the mantile cavity, in which are housed the cetenidia, osphradia, nephridiopores, gonopores, and anus. Mantile with shell glands that secrete calcareous epidermal spicules, shell plates, or shells. Heart lies in pericardial chamber and composed of separate centricle and atria. With large, well-defined muscular foot, often with a flattened creeping sole. Buccal region provided with a radula complete gut, with marked regional specialization, including large digestive tract. With large, complex metanephridia kidneys. Embryogeny typically protostomus with T. archifor larva, and usually a veliger larva. Class Aplacophora, benthic, marine, vermiform mollusks, shell less, but epidermis secretes aragonite spicules or scales, mantile cavity rudimentary, without eyes, tentacles, statocysts, crystalline style, or nephridia. Subclasses Chaetodermomorpha and Neomaniomorpha class Monoplacophora with single cap like shell. Foot forms weak ventral muscular disc, with eight pairs of retractor muscles. Shallow mantile cavity around foot encloses three to six pairs cetenidia, two pairs gonads, three to seven pairs metanephridia, two pairs heart atria, with radula and distinct but small head. Without eyes, about 25 described species in six genera. Class Polyplacophora chitons, flattened, elongated mollusks with a bored ventral foot and eight dorsal shell plates. Shells with unique articulamentum layer, mantile forms thick girdle that borders and may partly or entirely cover shell plates, epidermis of girdle usually with calcareous or chitinous spines, scales, or bristles. Mantile cavity encircles foot and bears from 6 to more than 80 pairs of cetenidia, one pair nephridia, without eyes, tentacles, nervous system lacking discrete ganglia, except in buccal region. Chitons are unique in their possession of eight separate shell plates, called valves, and a thick marginal girdle, about 1,000 described species. Class Scaphopoda, shell of one piece, tubular, usually tapering, open at both ends, head rudimentary, projecting from larger aperture, mantile cavity large, extending along entire ventral surface. Without cetenidae or eyes, with radula, proboscis, crystalline style, heart absent, foot somewhat cylindrical. Nearly 900 living species of marine, benthic mollusks in eight families. Class Gastropoda snails and slugs. Asymmetrical mollusks with single, usually spirally coiled shell into which body can be withdrawn, shell lost or reduced in many groups. During development, visceral mass and mantile rotate 90 minus 180 degrees on foot torsion, so metal cavity lies anterior or on right side, and gut and nervous system are twisted. Some taxa have partly or totally reversed the rotation to torsion, with muscular crepping food, head with eyes and one to two pairs tentacles, one to two nephridia. Mantile usually forms cavity housing cetenidia, osphradia, and hypobranchial glands. Gastropods comprise about 70,000 living species of marine, terrestrial, and freshwater stale and slugs. The class is usually divided into three subclasses. Prosobranchs, opisthobranchs and pulmonates class bivalvia shell typically of two valves hinged together dorsally by elastic ligament and shell teeth. Shells closed by adductor muscles, head rudimentary, without eyes or radula, but eyes may occur elsewhere on body, foot typically literally compressed, usually without a sole. One pair large bipectinate cetenidia, use it in combination with labial palps in ciliary feeding, one pair nephridia. Bivalves are marine or freshwater mollusks, microphagus or suspension feeders.
The class includes a good 20,000 living species represented at all depths and in all marine environments. Class Cephalopoda with linery chambered shell, usually reduced or lost. It external shell present, Nautilus sp. Animal inhabits last youngest chamber, with a filament of living tissue extending through older chambers, body cavity large. Circulatory system largely closed, head with large, complex eyes and circle of prehensile arms or tentacles around mouth, with radula and beak, 1 to 2 pairs cetanidia and 1 to 2 pairs complex nephridia. Mantile forms large ventral pallial cavity containing cetanidia, with muscular funnel, the siphon through which water is forced, providing jet propulsion, some tentacles of male modified for copulation, benthic or pelagic, marine, about 900 living species. Living systems demonstrate a unique and complex molecular organization. Chemical uniqueness living organisms assemble large molecules, macromolecules, that are more complex than molecules found in non-living matter. Same chemical laws apply. Four categories of biological macromolecules. Nucleic acids, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids. These four groups differ in their components. Types of bonds holding them together functions macromolecules evolved early in the history of life found in every form of life today. Proteins are made up of 20 different amino acid subunits. Enormous variability allows for the diversity of proteins and consequently of living forms. Nucleic acids, carbohydrates and lipids are also organized in a way that gives living systems a large potential for diversity. Complexity and hierarchical organization molecules are organized into patterns in the living world that do not exist in the non-living world. Complexity and hierarchical organization New characteristics can appear at any level of organization, emergent properties. Emergent properties depend upon the characteristics found at lower hierarchical levels, to some extent. The development of spoken language requires hearing. But, many different languages have arisen. Does life have defining properties? What is life? No simple definition. The history of life shows extensive and ongoing change called evolution. Answer must be based on the common history of life on Earth. Reproduction living systems can reproduce themselves. Genes replicate themselves forming new genes. Cells divide to produce new cells. Organisms reproduce to produce new organisms. Populations can split to form new populations. Even species may split to produce new species, speciation. Heredity and variation are present at all of these levels. Heredity faithful transmission of traits from one generation to the next. Variation production of differences among the traits of individuals. Result. Offspring are similar to, but not exactly like parents. Genetic program provides fidelity of inheritance. Genetic information is coded in DNA. DNA is a long chain of nucleotides, a sugar, phosphate plus nitrogenous base A, C, G, and T. The sequence of nucleotides codes for the order of amino acids in the protein specified. The genetic code The genetic code is universal among living organisms from bacteria through humans. Supports the concept of a single origin of life. Metabolism Living organisms maintain themselves by acquiring nutrients from their environments. Metabolism includes all of the chemical reactions occurring within an organism. Digestion respiration synthesis of molecules and structures metabolism includes destructive catabolic and constructive anabolic reactions. These reactions include synthesis of the four types of macromolecules as well as cleavage of bonds to recover the energy stored there. Physiology the study of complex metabolic functions. Development all organisms pass through characteristic stages in their life cycle. Development includes characteristic changes an organism passes through from its beginning, usually as a fertilized egg, through adulthood. Metamorphosis transformation from one life stage to another. Tadpole to frog caterpillar to butterfly. This simplified flow diagram of the scientific method shows the important components involved in a scientific study. First is the observation phase, where new observations are made. This is also the time where previous data are examined. Next, a hypothesis is formulated to attempt to explain the available data and observations. A hypothesis must be testable. Principles of science hypothesis. Potential answers to questions being asked. Derived from prior observations of nature or from theories based on such observations. 
often constitute general statements about nature that may explain a large number of diverse observations. If a hypothesis is very powerful in explaining a wide variety of related phenomena, it attains the level of a theory. Scientific method The hypothesis is then tested through a series of experiments and or observations. These experiments and observations must be repeatable. The factual information resulting from these experiments and observations are called data. An important part of an experiment is the control, which is a replicate set up exactly like the experiment, except it does not have the factor being tested. Scientists can then draw a conclusion based on the data the conclusion may involve accepting or rejecting the initial hypothesis. Further experiments may require an adjustment to the conclusions. Hypotheses are said to be supported, but not proven. New hypotheses are generated from the conclusions, and the process starts again. A theory results when a group of related hypotheses are supported by many experiments and observations. Theories are the ideas that scientists are most sure of. Theory of gravity theory of natural selection The previous model is very simplified and the result is too linear. The activity model for the process of scientific inquiry shows the more complex interactions that are really involved. Charles Darwin on the origin of species by means of natural selection, 1859 Five related theories, perpetual change common descent multiplication of species. Gradualism natural selection multiplication of species new species are produced by the splitting and transforming of older species. Gradualism large differences result from the accumulation of small changes over long periods of time. Occasionally, changes can happen more quickly. Natural selection differential success in the reproduction of different phenotypes resulting from the interaction of organisms with their environment. Natural selection requires variation within the population. This variation must be heritable. Organisms with a particular variation will have more offspring. Over time, these successful variations will spread through the population. Adaptation natural selection explains why organisms are constructed to meet the demands of their environments. Adaptation results when the most favorable variants accumulate over evolutionary time. Unity in diversity All vertebrate forelimbs share an underlying structure utilizing the same parts, but have evolved a diverse array of adaptations, as seen in the wing of a bat, the flipper of a whale, and a human arm. Mendelian heredity Darwin knew that some traits were heritable, but he didn't have an understanding of the mechanism of heredity. Gregor Mendel performed experiments on garden peas leading to an understanding of how chromosomal inheritance works. Mendel's peas Mendel chose peas to study inheritance because they possess several contrasting traits without intermediates. Green versus yellow peas tall versus short plants wrinkled versus smooth peas purple versus white flowers the peas can self-fertilize or outcross. Mendel could control who the parents were. Mendel always started with true breeding parents. E.g. self-fertilized white-flowered parents always produced white-flowered offspring. Contributions of cell biology microscopes allowed scientists to study the production of gametes, eggs and sperm. They could watch the movement of chromosomes. Result. The chromosomal theory of inheritance. Heritable information is contained on chromosomes. Specializations in zoology anatomy ecology genetics parasitology physiology entomology ichthyology.